Hey gang, today I'm going to show you what I carry in my KTEC Stingray Utility Hip Pack. So a few months ago I made a video showing what I carry inside my lab bag and my wire bag. So I wanted to follow it up to show you what I carry in my utility kit when I'm working on set. Another gentleman named Jared Elkin, his uh, channel is called The Wave Report Editor. He also did a review of the bag, so I will provide a link for that in the description or in the video as well. Uh, so yeah, let's discuss uh, why I sometimes uh, do utility. But what happens here is because we are a pretty small industry, um, sometimes there's not enough crew to go around. And so some of the other mixers that I know in town will ask me, they'll be like, can you come out on this project and do utility or come do second boom or uh, just help me out for this uh, this particular project. Um, so depending where I'm at, um, how busy I am, and what their project they are doing is, uh, sometimes I'll do it. So yeah, sometimes I'll go out and be do utility or do uh, boom opering. Um, for me, really, it just comes down to that I love doing any of the positions in the department. So I don't mind going out and doing going out and doing those things at all. But yes, the primary is always to be a production sound mixer. So I should explain to you that don't know what sound utility or sound assistant is. It is basically just the entry level position into the location sound department. And what you're doing is assisting uh, that mixer or the boom op for whatever they need. And a big part of your job is actually wiring up the cast and also doing second booming. And then through second booming, eventually you move up to booming. And then eventually, if you want, you can move up to be a mixer. Um, it's really, uh, really up to you. Yeah, so let's talk about this bag a little more. So it is, yes, of from KTEC. It is the same quality and same materials that they build any of their audio bags with, which is top of the line. It's a very well made little bag. As to be expected by KTEC, they tend to make fantastic products. Um, it has two very large pockets. In fact, why don't I show you what I have and what I carry in them? All right, everyone, I wanted to show you what I carry inside my Stingray Hip Utility Pack. Oh, I got a bunch of batteries. Um, I usually carry rechargeables as well. Just right now, I got lithium in there. Uh, of course, mask, although I plan to get a more heavy duty one. Next, of course, some hand sanitizer I picked up. As you can see, just a ton of pins, Sharpie, handy little electrosonics tool for making adjustments, and things like Comtex. Uh, yeah, and uh, scissors as well. So yeah, that's kind of the first pocket. So why don't we look in the second one? All right, let's see what's in the second one. As you can kind of see, lots of tape. That's medical tape. Always super handy to have. Super stick it, never leave home without it. Still my favorite tape. And then of course I have foamies, earth foamies. Um, yeah, also uh, Ursa soft strip tape or moleskin type tape. And the new Viviana pads, I carry some of those. Uh, the next thing I have is, this is my headlight for whenever it's dark out or you're in night shoots or you just need to see, but need to use your hands. Very handy. Uh, and then this handy little guy. Um, I got it from the old Canadian Tire up here. Hey, yes, Canadians love Canadian Tire uh, in the fish fishing section. So I, I can't remember the actual model number, but all it says is TFO. That just pops open. And I've got like an Ursa Foamy, some Viviana pads here. That's just a headphone thing, extra headphone ear cover. Um, and then uh, hair elastics for tying up the mics. 
keep him nice and tidy. And then of course this side is where I carry all my wind stuff. Already sort of prepped bubble bee and uh, is this one, I believe. And then some rye coat. And this is a little trick you can do. Take the metal windscreen of like a Sankin, stick uh, either Bubble Bee or Ursa or whatever you like, right coat furry on the outside. Just adds a little more wind protection. Just a bunch of Bubble Bee stickies, I believe. Yeah, some super stick it in there. Yeah, and this side the same thing, super stick it. Little top stick and also some of the Ursa strips. Yeah, so these are all the, the handy things I carry in here. My little tricks. Yeah, so as you can kind of see, there is just a ton of space in here. Yeah, these are like little reusable, almost like cotton, cotton swab things. Yeah, they're completely reusable. They're pretty good. And another thing. And there's bungo ties. Always very handy to have. But yeah, like I said, tons of room in here. You can even put this, you can even put a Ursa belt and some transmitters in there if you need to. Um, you can also wear this, like if I'm doing run and gun, uh, out of the bag kind of stuff. You can wear this and keep all your extra transmitters and basically all the same stuff in here. And um, yeah, it just, it just saves space. So the big thing I love about it, of course, is it's that K-Tech quality. That bag is gonna last me a lot of years. Uh, the pockets, as you can see, are very big. You can store a ton of stuff. Usually when I'm in the assisting and uh, utility position, I also have uh, my IFB in there. Uh, you can carry your snacks in there if you need it. Also works great for those people that are doing the documentary run and gun style. You don't want to carry a bunch of stuff in your kit on, on the front of your body. You can have this on your thigh, carry a few trans extra transmitters in there. I am very happy with the bag. I've used it on a few projects now and uh, I see myself continuing to use it. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. You can find me on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's all under Fierce Sound. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you on set.